Hey guys, this is Ghostbit Miner coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. In today's video, guys, we're going to be making a capture PC out of this big hunk of junk, the Occuplex 740, which is the cheapest way you can make a capture PC. Stay tuned for the video, guys, so I can show you how to do it. So one of the main reasons why I chose the Occuplex 740 is I actually got it for a pretty good deal on eBay. Uh, you can find these all day long for about $100 to $135 depending on the specs. Uh, if you get it without a uh, operating system, you can save a couple bucks. And if you get it without a hard drive, you save a lot of money. So I got this one right here for $125 off of eBay. And it's pretty cool. So this comes with integrated graphics. Windows 10 Professional, I supplied my own SSD. Got one from uh, Best Buy, 128 gigabytes, one of their um, WD SSDs by their own brand. Um, pretty good deal from that. Bought it for about 20 bucks. But as you can see, all the specs right here, you can do triple monitors, which is pretty cool. Do two display ports, one HDMI, and some other cool peripherals coming through on here, especially these old, nice, uh, mouse and keyboard combinations and look at all these ss uh super speed uh, 3.0 uh usb ports right here very very cool and you got some old-fashioned ones over here for your mouse and keyboard also and then you got gigabit speed uh connections right here so that actually is really good for upload speeds and download speeds uh most houses in the us probably have the gigabit internet by now and you can add some cool spots. So you can see right here, uh, if you're gonna do a capture card, I'm using a capture card today for this PC, but you can also put uh, four devices in here if you wanna make it a little bit better. Comes with its own power source. Everything's already pre-built in this computer, ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and I'm gonna show you what card we're gonna be using for capturing today. So one of the reasons why I like Dell so much is how easy they are to open up and work on. And everything comes supplied. You don't have to buy anything for these machines. So the way you open up this Occuplex 740, uh, 7040 is you just push this button down and you just pull this straight out and you're opened up. As easy as that. And then you take off the faceplate. Everything that's removable does have a nice little blue color to it. Um, Pretty easy to follow, really no tools necessary. So we're gonna pop this off by lifting up and the faceplate comes off just like that. Pretty neat. We're gonna go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna show you what card we're gonna be using and I'll show you what slot we're gonna go ahead and put it in. Okay guys, so before we open this hunk of junk, I'm gonna show you what capture card we're using. We're using the HD60 Pro from Elgato. If you want to use this capture card and get it brand new, click on the link down below. That's my Amazon link for it. It gives me a little bit of a kickback and you also get a good warranty on it. But if you want to do what I did, I bought it used off of eBay on auction for $60. So this card you can get from anywhere from about $165 brand new to about $60 used on auction, depending. The reason why we're using this card right here is actually has a good input and output capabilities really good hd 60 frames a second recording and also the reason why you want to use a capture pc is you can take the strain off the capture device itself let's say if you're doing a benchmark you're not using up the ram and cpu power off the capture device you're using off a capture pc so you get better results in the long run so let's go ahead and plug this uh, capture card in i'll show you how to do it we'll go ahead and test it out stay tuned guys let's go ahead and check this out so another good reason to actually get a pre-built Dell, it's so easy to work on. Like I was saying in the beginning, all these little blue marks will show you how to take it apart. So after you take the faceplate off, you just open it straight up and <laughs> look how easy that is. And now we're gonna put it in the fastest speed. So we're gonna use a PCI three slot right here, which is a blue one. You're gonna pull up on this blue slot right here. And we're gonna go ahead and just release one of these brackets. Grab your capture card again today. We are using the Elgato 60 Pro, which is a very good capture card for the price. It's still very good quality for YouTube capturing and also streaming to uh, uh, your streaming uh, services for uh, game capture. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in here. 
just like that and close it up as easy as that guys we're gonna take a b-roll of this but that's all you really need to do especially if you get this uh ocuplex 740 uh, very easy to install you got a lot of usbs a lot of power a lot of potential this is an i5 so you don't have to worry about anything comes with eight gigs of ram, uh, RAM. better than anything you can buy better than anything you can make this hunk of junk so let's go ahead and take a video of the b-roll So we're gonna go ahead and put this back together again. Very, very easy. Just push this back in. Put your face plate back on. Just like that. And then, very, very easy. Uh, I love Dells for this reason, is they're very easy to service. I think a chimpanzee could do it, as I'm having issues putting this on. Sometimes you gotta face this down. and wait for the click and you're good to go plug it in plug it into your monitor and let's go ahead and show you the tricks on how to perfectly capture any type of information from an xbox 360 to xbox one x to the xbox series x and from of course pcs so you can start doing your own screen recording so let's go ahead and get into that guys Okay, so on the links down below, I'm gonna actually link you to this page where you can download what you need to do. So what you're gonna do is put HD 60 Pro if you're using this one. If you're using Windows, of course, is put Windows based. So we're actually gonna skip this one since we don't have a 4K uh, capture card. We're gonna go to Game Capture. We're gonna go ahead and download this for Windows. It should be pretty fast. We're gonna go ahead and download it. And here we go. Very easy, normal type of install, nothing too crazy. And you do want to put Elgato sound capture as well. So you can actually get sound from your PC, uh, chat, music, and uh, game audio. Okay, I'm just gonna do everything uh, normal, nothing too crazy. Wherever it wants to go, I'll go ahead and let it be, since it does have to be on your local hard drive for this one. So now that that's finished, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. So we're gonna go to Game Capture over here, and it's gonna automatically detect what uh, device you have installed from Elgato. Since we have the HD60 Pro, you'll see it pop up over here, and we don't have anything plugged in. So I'm gonna show you the next step on what to do. So depending on your setup, depending on how far your PC is, let's say from your game console or your gaming PC, all you really need is a HDMI cord. So I'm using an Amazon Basic HDMI cord. I'm actually using the very long one. It's about 10 foot long, so I can run it from one PC to another PC without actually having to move my PC super close to the capture device I'm actually capturing from. So this is very good. I love Amazon Basic stuff. Again, down below, click on the link so you can buy one of these. Very affordable, and it gets the job done. So let me go ahead and show you how to set it up. So you're gonna plug your HDMI cord into the in on your Elgato streaming card. Right over here, nothing too crazy. And then we're gonna go down to our capture device and plug it in. So the capture device we're gonna be using today to be capturing information from is actually this nice Alienware R3 Area 51. This comes with a nice i7 5820K and it goes all the way up to a overclock of 3.3 gigahertz and it has a GTX 970. Very outdated equipment, but it gets the job done, especially in today's market. You can find these anywhere from $700 for a low spec one to about $1,200. What a crazy market we're living in. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can capture information on here. So you're gonna grab your uh, HDMI cable that's connected to your Elgato capture card. 
you're gonna go to your capturing device, your capturing information from. And with the 970, you actually have a pretty good amount of available HDMI spaces. So we're gonna go ahead and put it right over here. And we're gonna go ahead and connect back to this other computer and we'll go from there, guys. And with being still on the Alienware, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you're actually just duplicating the uh, monitors. You can go to display settings. And from here, you see how it says one and two. What you're gonna do is go all the way down here, not extend, you're gonna go ahead and duplicate these displays. So it only makes one, okay? So there we go. And now we should be able to see exactly what this computer is seeing on the other screen so we can properly screen capture. Again, this is on a PC. It's a little different on the Xbox or PlayStation. And we'll get into some other videos later on about that. So let's go ahead and go back to our capture device. So now that we're back at our capture device, what you wanna do is open back up the Elgato Capture HD. Again, this is for the older HD60 Pro. So we're gonna open this up, you click on it, and last time we weren't getting anything, and now look at this, guys. We're getting actually the live gameplay. Very cool, we have the game audio over here. You can switch it if you want to. And all this is being recorded, and it's very easy to capture it, which is nice. So we're playing a definitely time, uh, <laughs> a uh, perfect game for this PC. This is the Tomb Raider, the first one. And you can just hit record. It's actually recording everything we got here to the C drive and you can see the available space. Later on in detail, I'll go over how to switch some of these settings in on this capture device. But again, you're not taxing the computer at all. You're not taxing the computer you're running this game off of. It's all actually coming from the game capturing device over here, the Occuplex 740. And one cool thing you can do if you want to, is you can open Tax Manager. You can see it's actually working the computer out pretty well. The CPU is at 42%, memory is at 36, and the disk speed, because we are saving to it, is at 2%. We're using an SSD, so it's not, uh, I don't recommend doing a hard drive on this because it'll probably be at 50%. But again, if you want to save some money, you can do that. But you can see how much a CPU is being used on this device. And which is interesting, guys, imagine actually capturing this off the main computer if you're using the Alienware to capture and stream and run the gameplay, it's actually gonna be decreasing your frame rates, which is not really good if you're doing competitive gaming or benchmarking. So we have the i5-6500 CPU at 3.2 gigahertz. Again, very good four cores, four threads, really good capture PC, and it comes with eight gigabytes of RAM, and the SSD is barely uh, worrying about anything, and we are on ethernet right there. So overall, guys, everything on this capture device is excellent for capturing information from another device, let's say Xbox 360, Xbox One X, etc. But I'll go into some more details later on about how to use it for a console. Right now we're using it for a normal uh, PC type of benchmarking, PC gaming, etc. And you can also very easily use the Elgato to stream. And we'll go over information on how to do that later. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. And please click on the links down below if you want the Elgato uh, 60 Pro from Amazon. It runs about 175 bucks brand new, but you do get a pretty good warranty. Or you can just buy it like I did uh, secondhand on eBay for 60 bucks. Anyways, guys, this was Ghost57 coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. And I'll see y'all guys in the next video. See y'all soon.